Okay, now we are back with more areas of revelation then. Understand that uh, um, we are in the uh, Revelation chapter 20 at the very moment. And uh, we are living at uh, the part where Yahshua said that the time would be reduced uh, for the sake of the set apart. So then we understand this point also. And then from there, from this point where we are in, of the time reduced for the sake of the elect from the time of Yahshua, not from the time of the Samaritans. Try to understand, because the time of the Samaritans does not count as prophetic line, but Yahshua was the king. So then, please have the mathematical understanding from the time he was born. Okay? So then, obviously, then on the 20th chapter, there are areas, for instance, that we understand from the time of these angels. But some of them are related to angels, some of them are demons. So we must understand what it means in this understanding. So then, retracting a bit from the time, from the 20th and before, on the chapter 9 and then chapter 8, there is also the understanding of those horses. And we understand from the time of the past, that's war the uh, trademark of going into war with other nations. But in the light of the understanding from the spiritual sense, we understand that the demons, when they come out of their places, they have to inhabit the people except those areas when they are told that they should do on their own. But when they come out and they don't have any orders, they have to go through a certain area of influence of geographical areas. So then we understand from those areas they are going to be in these leaders of the world. So that's why they have a form, for instance, they came out of this pit in a form of locusts and then they were such having power as the scorpions but then later changed it to these um, showings of horses and people in them and faces like lions so those are the understanding from the uh, Kadosh side or from the holy side shown to Yahanan because he could not observe those demons in the spirit because he has to have the line from heaven and not from the demonic world. So those are very distinct. So then we understand what he meant. He was given an understanding of then locust as God's creation and then scorpion, God's creation, and then came down God's creation, horses and then lions, but those were then leaders of the world from where these demons, they came from this pit and obviously because it was the time of the releasing of the atomic nuclear bomb and then he's taking this time to do simultaneous tasks. So then we begin to understand from that time what the world would be doing. So it must be in this context, otherwise a person is going to be searching for these beings coming then from heaven, rather than understanding the history behind it and the events taking place at the same time, because they are layers. There are layers of understanding of each section of it. And those are transportable, for instance, these movements of evil anointings versus those that are holy anointings, they move from period of time to period of time. It's not confusing, but they have to have their own places. And then body, soul, and spirit must be separated so a person can understand the meaning. But then it shows later on and then the prayers of the set-apart believers. And those then, of course, each of those camps, they have the Ark of the Covenant. 
and there is a seat of the Ark of the Covenant and that's the throne that they have the vision from heaven in each Kadosh Kadoshim of each tabernacle of each camp so then start making more sense so then layer after layer after layer a person can understand then because the situation is going to be mostly done besides the uh, weather related areas then is going to come later the third part of the ships destroyed now we know that the area of the east then is the very area that's going to be involved in this blast because the third part of the ships then obviously that's where the most concentration of ships are at so from that time then we begin to understand the movement of the heavenly areas in it based upon the blast factor then when that blast takes place then also is going to come those demons from these spiritual pit so then link them both this is what it means because the fact of the destruction brings demons in areas where they belong so then a person can begin to kind of understand a bit what it means and then they were giving directives and what to do and what not what they should be doing what they should not be doing and then the set apart city they were also um, given the uh, 42 months of siege and then obviously this is the area where the 1009 was at because then put together then the set apart city for 42 months was then sieged and then the time that they were sieged it was the time that the world made a proclamation they did not want Yahshua anymore and this is when Satan went to prison it's a spiritual so it then is starting making more sense so then in Revelation the 20th chapter we can also understand the area of being released from this spiritual line but then some people they are making a reference of this pit came from this pit it doesn't take much for a person to understand the lining up of these factors being removed of the spiritual line at the same time of the blast so then it started making more sense so then the releasing then of these areas of these pits they become in fact a single event in distinct layers of it so a person can begin to understand what those mean because they are not in fact separated they are to the point of the mind understanding of each event but in a spiritual understanding they are layers so there is from the pit the nuclear blast and then observe the previous areas and then before in the previous chapter also saw those demons came out of the pit and they had a form of locusts so then a person began to understand the layers of it it's the event in itself and layers of the releasing so it makes a whole lot more sense because it's not only the physical fact of the world experiencing these powers some of them are evil some of them are not
So then a person can begin to understand. There are layers of a spiritual understanding, but then the physical fact, they are related. But the main understanding of this, if you are confused or doesn't understand, then the 20th chapter of Revelation, the 7th verse, and when these thousand years were then completed, from the 1009 up to our time, minus the reduction. So then is indicating for the Hebrews to return to their camps. There are cataclysmic events coming in and very deadly and very dangerous because wrath means any area of the biblical law that was not in place from the Creator then is going to be destroyed in heavenly legal terms. We must understand these in layers. So then they come together very nicely. So then this license to sin, grace, is going to end. Because the grace factor was to be used and also maintained by the set-apart people in the Kadosh Kadoshims, in their perimeters, in their camps. And they are doing neither. They start making more sense. More and more sense. So then Israel then is becoming more relevant in terms of the plan that they were set to do. Why is it the nations are so scoundreling themselves with a license to sin for? Because there is a force behind it, making sure of it. But this force is going to be gone. It's going to turn into wrath rather than giving grace. So then the set apart people understand they must return to their camps. So then begin then scrutinize the uh, revelation each chapter with the physical events of an area and distinct layers of the spirit. Okay? And then there are also the uh, seals and shofar sounds. Okay? Those are timing released in the spirit. In the spirit not in the physical world but in the spirit there is a distinction the physical world is going to have a specific cataclysmic events but not as many as the spiritual understanding so then starting making more sense But those who are not faithful to what Yahshua said and what Yahshua said to do based upon his example, what did Yahshua do? He did not give a license to sin. What is the first day observance? That's sin. It's a blunt open sin. Because the day of observance is the seventh day. But this power coming from this area is going to be placed in an area that's going to be wrath. And then those that are from this first day, they are going to be inhabiting demons with a very specific purpose. They are not going to have the liberty of their own anymore as people. They are going to do what the demons say for them to do or else. There won't be any choice. No choice whatsoever. 
and their objective is going to be the destruction of the camps this lovey lovey junk going on because of the grace and then living in sin going out and observing first day observance rather than the seven this is what precisely what the Messiah did to give us the example so then we would have the anointing to share with other people in a way that they can understand ask a person from the first day observance if they can lead you to the direction of the truth they can't lead you because they are from deception they are from the, uh, the upscoundreled anointing and that's going to end that's why revelation is mostly understanding in the spirit releasing of evil anointings in the spirit and then with a very few world events and they are not matching those are areas for instance the nuclear blast there are many areas of revelation related with this blast whereas other areas such as hell and famine we understand what are those those are related with weather but also caused from spiritual realms Then it's becoming a whole lot more interesting so the people can be encouraged because revelation is not mysticism. Much more coming up.